Hi, I'm Judd Eads with ARS Flood and Fire Cleanup. I have so much faith in our company that I'm going to flood my own house. As crazy as it seems to flood my own home, our company has the experience to restore it quick and easy, even better than it was before. Remember, got a mess? Call ARS. Well, we're in the super stock right now, the sportsman class. It was Ed Tarbett, Patrick Snedeker, Tatum Tarbett, and Pete Prescott was your finish order there. Now the truck is called Dizzy, is driven by John Doyle, and John Doyle's going to make our head spin. Yep, he's going to make you dizzy. This this truck's been pulling for a lot of years, and uh, he's slowly moved up through the classes, and now he's got the super stock, which is the difference between this and the sportsman. You're allowed to run the full pull tire, and uh, all the safety equipment. You have to have the driveline loops, the scatter shield, bell housing, because these run some serious RPM. He's running a big stroker motor. It's uh, 500 and something. I think 560 or 580 cubic inch. And listen to that thing hum. Oh, he's got some fuel issues. All right. He lost weight. He's going to have to... They, they can DQ him for that. They, they can disqualify him for that, but they probably won't because it's an issue. But it sounded to me like he had a fuel problem. He put new fuel pumps on it this week. Uh, he said the difference between $100 didn't make it. He wanted to get a good pump, so he got the good ones. But uh, hopefully he'll be able to. Usually he puts a strap around those. Maybe he forgot. He was might have might have been in a hurry. But they're going to give him another chance because he shut down before the 75-foot mark. And he's first puller. He has the option, to, even after this next pull, he has the option to come back if he'd like. So this wouldn't count as his second pull because he was short of 75 feet. Right, right. That 75-foot option is open for every puller. The first puller has that option regardless of the 75-foot rule. Go visit unitedpullers.net and take a look at where this, where they're going to be pulling all summer long. We're looking at Idaho Falls next week, then Spanish Fork after that. You'll see them in Afton, Wyoming, Heber City, down at the Utah State Fair, among others. Usually uh, they stay around here in the Intermountain West, but 12 dates that you can see these truck pulls all around the Intermountain West. Chances are if you want to go to Elko, Nevada and do a little gambling, you might want to line yourself up on that date. This, you, you'll be able to tell when John takes off, you'll be able to tell the difference between this and the sportsman class is just, it's astronomical. The amount of time that it takes, I mean, he's built this truck over the years. Unless you come into some serious money, the average guy probably couldn't afford to do this unless he was single and put all of his money into it because it does, he owns a business and he's self-sponsored and that's how he's able to do that. But you'll hear the RPM of this engine is just incredible for the amount of torque that it puts out. It's its not a wonder it doesn't scatter every time he runs it, but it doesn't. He puts it together well. He builds his own engines. He builds them over at his dad's house. He's got his shop, but he builds it in his dad's. And here he goes. Nope, he's, he's going to have fuel issues. That's, uh, that's, that's discouraging. It just doesn't want to run. That's his second second shot at this. Again, he's short of 75 feet, but for whatever reason, it just doesn't want to catch. He still has the option if he wants to unhook and let Elijah pull and then try to fix the problem, he could still do that if he wanted to, but I don't know if he will. We'll, we'll, we'll see what he does. I'm sure he wants to figure out what the problem is. They may... Yep. And that, uh, that's one of his employees, Galen Brown, right there helping him. And he is very mechanically inclined. That looks like they've unhooked him, so he'll go take another look. But he would get back to come and, and, and get another shot? He may. The, the rules state that he can. If that was his first pull, which it was, because of the 75-foot rule, he can wrench on it right now. 
Well, Elijah comes out and pulls, and he's got, I think it's three minutes when he when the stage is, uh, the sled is staged, he has three minutes before he's DQ'd. Well, a super stock, two vehicles in the super stock class. Elijah Carter is number two. Overtime, the name of his vehicle. Got himself a few sponsors on the side there. On Meanwhile, John Doyle trying to figure out what's going on with his vehicle. So we'll see if he takes another shot out of here in a moment or not. But Elijah Carter is going to get his chance. This is a classic Chevy Ford war. Elijah has a Chevy with a big block. John's is a Ford big block. And they're both about the same vintage. I believe John's is a 74, and this here's a 72. Both classic line collector items. They're uh, getting hard, harder and harder to find body parts for. You, normally, you don't damage bodies on these. That's a good thing. The mechanical parts, some of them are aftermarket, like the axles. They're, they're, uh, most of them run a Rockwell in the rear and a 70 in the front. Uh, when you put aftermarket hardened alloy axles in, sometimes you have problems, sometimes you don't. You'll see some of the guys have hubs like he just turned it in. Those hubs are high dollar to get a, 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 a strong enough hub to support all that torque because these tires, these implement tires, these pull tires, there's a lot of grip on that big of a tire. And uh, about 75% of the pulling for the first 50 feet is done with the front end because of all the weight on the front. And then as the weight transfers, they call it a hook. When your rear end hooks, then you'll hear them really get on the throttle. Like, like he just got on the throttle really hard, and now he's hooking on down the track with the weight, and he's going to power out. Nope, he didn't power out. That's good. He's got it running. He's got it running really good. Not a bad pull there by Elijah Carter. 279-1 for Elijah Carter. And let's see what John Doyle does. He'll have to beat 279-1. Well, John Doyle's going to try it again. His truck's named Dizzy. He was just making his head hurt the first two times. See if he's got it figured out. Well, I'll, I'll talk to him later. He lives in my town, and he's my best friend. He's helped me a lot with pulling. He builds my drive shafts. I I buy all my axle parts from him. He's an awesome sponsor. He helps me a lot, and I really hate to see him drive this far and not make a pull. And so my heart's in it for him. I like Elijah, but I'm rooting for John. I'm, I'm a fan of Dizzy. I go out with him a lot, him and his wife. We go to dinner a lot, and we, we take care of one another. He's a good friend. Now, if you're going to be on TV and do the sports stuff, you can't, you can't play favorites. You can't be partial. Like I said, I like Elijah. Yeah, but this, this truck's hard to beat when it runs right. So if he, if he has a good run, he's going to be hard to beat. So we'll see if he figured out the fuel problem. You can hear it missing when it gets up. He's got a rev limiter built into the engine to protect the engine from over rev so it doesn't blow up. I think he still got him though. Yeah, he probably did because he was running very well. He didn't hop too bad. That's one of the major things to try to work out of a truck is to keep him from hopping. 305 and 3. He got it and got it good. Impressively. That's an impressive pull, and I'm glad that he was able to do that. My heart just goes out for anybody that, that, that is not able to pull. Well, the crowd is buzzing because Bumblebee backing up. Everybody's been looking at this, been looking at this vehicle sitting under there. It says Jeep on the front, but underneath the hood, Cadillac. It's got a Cadillac engine, and it's kind of impressive because uh, this guy's creative to take a an old FJ40. He's got an advantage because he has all that cab weight up there, so he can stack more weight on the back end because the cab is the weights on the front. So mechanically, it's a good design, but you'll see if he gets a good hook, he'll still pull the front end off the ground. It's really impressive for a stock, a basically stock Cadillac. I believe it's a 479. I don't know what year, 78, 77, just come out of an old junk caddy, throws it in there, and it's been running for eight, eight years. Bruce Baker in the two-wheel drive mod classification, the modified. He's driving Bumblebee. He's the only one in this classification, but when you got a vehicle like this, it's all you need. 
When he started, I, I believe there were four or five in this class, and slowly they've just dropped off for some reason. They've gotten tired of pulling or retired, figured that they didn't want to do it anymore, or sold their trucks, but he's still... He still does it. Him and his boy drive, and tonight it's Bruce, the dad. And uh, it's impressive to watch this whole thing. You'll watch as he gets hooked up, and, and at the end, it will probably pull the front wheels off the ground. And it's a, it, the crowd usually likes it, and it doesn't look like the track has enough tack. The track's not quite grippy enough to get him to pull the front end up. But, but it's it's something to see when you get that front end two or three feet off the ground. 267 and 9 for Bruce Baker and Bumblebee in the two-wheel drive modified. Well, Bumblebee went 267 and 5 the first time, and Bruce Baker, he's He's hooked on this uh, pull and he wants to do it again. Well, he just didn't want to settle for no competition, so he's going to compete with his own mark. So that's that's good. That'll give the crowd something to watch and uh, looks like the crowd's going crazy. Maybe this time he'll get the front end to pull up. He'll rev it up a little, give her a little more RPM, try to beat his old mark. Well, it's a pretty full full house here on the west side of the fairgrounds, and they're seeing Bumblebee taking a load down the track. Yep, these two-wheel drives have a higher hit, hit point so that it, it's hooked closer to the rear axle and higher so they pull up harder on the front of the sled. They're, they're actually hard to stop. The, you'll see when they get the modifieds, the blown the alcohol, blown two-wheel drives, how hard they pull. They pull just about as hard as, as anything that hooks to the sled. Well, 267 and 5 the first time. Haven't heard a distance here on his second pull. See if he beat that yet. You're watching the second annual Cache Valley Truck and Tractor Pulls, sponsored by Moonlight Diesel, right here on the Valley Channel. Joel Carlson joining me. I'm Eric Olson, and we're bringing you all the action, all the RPMs, all the noise, all the dirt, all the fun from the fairgrounds, the rodeo grounds here at the Cache County Fairgrounds. Well, here's a change of pace. We're in the modified mini class now. Larry Wynn backing up on We Too Crazy. Tell us a little bit about the modified mini class. Well, these are 2,000 pound tractor pulling a 17,000 pound weight. And uh, they're, these are wild. I wouldn't get in one of these if you paid me money. They get crazy and that We Crazy, they're not lying. They get sideways at times. The, the front end, they they actually, the, the front wheels are just for looks because they have they have brakes on the rear wheels and that's what they use with foot brakes to steer. And they don't want to because if you put the brake on, you're actually losing momentum. So they want to use the brake as little as possible, but when their front end's off the ground, they have to to keep it going straight and they're wild. You'll, you'll see, they get, pretty, they get pretty wild. Well, we'll hope they don't end up right in our lap. They won't. That, the safety equipment <laughs> Equipment will it'll stop them. But when they're not under power, they stop pretty. That that sled's heavy. It stops pretty fast. Well, they got a new sled for these this class for the next couple here, and the green flag's waving. Let's see what they got. Well, the reason they have that roll bar in there is in, in the rare occasion if it were to come unhooked, it'll actually bounce that tractor right over on its top. I've seen it happen. And if you listen to that thing whine. That's a whine. in their home. <laughs> he was not only pulling the sled, he was pulling the pull chain behind it too, an extra 25 pounds. Yep, cheater. <laughs> yeah, that's impressive the way that thing runs and that's a naturally aspirated engine so you'll notice it runs a higher RPM than the blown tractor. But the blown tractor will actually pull harder because it has more torque at a lower RPM. 265 and 9 for Larry Wynn and We Too Crazy in the modified mini class. Thank you. 